בגמרא מסכת שבת, עושה זה הרגיל בנר, הוויין לבנים תלמידי חכמים. A person who is careful and intricate when it comes to performing the מצווה בחנוכה with the proper details, he זוכה, he merits having kids who are תלמידי חכמים. This is not a mystical thing that happens. The fact that your kids see that you're careful and you perform the מצווה in a meticulous manner, that shows how much you appreciate the מצוות of Hashem. So one of the very important things in regards to the Hidu is the proper placing of the menorah. And the question is, where should a person place his Hanukkiah, his menorah, nowadays? There are many different Hidurim, there are many different levels of performing the mitzvah properly. So what is the, what takes precedence, what is the most important amongst those? So there are actually three different places the Gemara says. One, the Gemara says, Manicha בפתח ביתו, סמוך לפתח, a person, it's a man, Shabbat, Chav Bet, Amar Abba, Rabba says, Ner Hanukkah, Mitzvah L'Anicha B'Tefach HaSmucha L'Petach. It's a mitzvah to place it, a tefach, eight centimeters away from the opening of the door. So the pshat, the simple pshat of why you do that, Rashi HaKadosh writes, is that it should be noticeable to which house it belongs. If you're lighting it in the front of your courtyard, sometimes there's two openings, two doors, it's best to place it right by the opening of your door. So that way it's noticeable. But the Rambam writes, the reason to do this is that you should be surrounded by mitzvot. He says, Mezuzah be'amin ve'hanukiyah be'smol. The mezuzah is on your right side and the hanukiyah should be on the left side. The Shiltot of Rav Ahai Gaon, he writes a beautiful idea. He says, Ubal abayit ben ha'mezuzah le'nawar hanukiyah ve'talit be'tzuyetzeh. He writes that the owner of the house he has his mezuzah on the right side, he has the, the Hanukkah candles on the left, and he himself wears a tzitzit, tzitzit katan. And he, this fulfills the pasuk in Kohelet, it says in the pasuk, meshulash, lo inatek. The three-sided string should, will never be broken apart. That's referring to three mitzvot. Which mitzvot? You have the mezuzah, you have the Hanukkah, and you have the tzitzit. The Ben Ishai writes a beautiful Hidush. He writes that the acronym of this Hidush, I mentioned it last year, is Tzemach. Tzitzit is Tzadik, Mem is Mezuzah, Het is Hanukkah. And we pray for Mashiach, whose name is Tzemach. So he says, Bishchut these three mitzvot, Mashiach Tzitkenu should come bimera bezat Hashem. So it's a powerful mitzvah. Rav Haim Palaji writes that a person should make sure his tzitziot are kosher. So he says, check your tzitziot, make sure they're tied properly prior to laying the Hanukkah when you do that. So that's one of the ma'alot. The second one, the Gemara says, you should light it below 10 tefakhim. 10 tefakhim are 80 centimeters, it's very low. And the simple pshat, I know a lot of people know the deeper reasons, but the pshat is usually you place the light bulbs on the roof. So it illuminates light to the entire room. So in Hanukkah, we're not lighting it for, to benefit from the light. We're lighting it that it should be nikar, it should be noticeable, that's for the sake of the mitzvah. So when you place it low, you're clearly not lighting it for your own sake. It's the Shem Mitzvah. So by lighting it in a low place, it's clear that it's for the Mitzvah only. So that's the Pshat why we do that. And even today, although you have a Hanukkiah and it's noticeable back then, they could have lit maybe in a, in a glass container or any type of container with a wick. It could be his lighting for, him, for himself. Although we know it's for Hanukkah today with a Hanukkiah, regardless, it's still a big Hidu to light it within Tent Fakhim. And the third and final one, is to try and perform Pirsum and Nisa and light it in a place where publicly it could be seen. Although Mikaradin today, you could light it even in your house and nobody will see it, you yourself, that's already enough and you could still bless. But the question is when these three factors contradict, you can't do all three of them. You have a window seal, you could light it there, but it's above 80 centimeters, it's, it's very high. So should, what will be, what's more important? I could put it beneath Tent Tevachim by my door next to the Mezuzah but no one's going to see it publicly. Or I could put it on my balcony, and I have people that walk by, people walk by in the main street and they'll see it. So which is the most important? So the level of the three is clearly Pirsum and Nisa is the main factor of this mitzvah, and therefore that overrides everything. Even if you have to put it very high, even if you live in a high building, and it's over the fourth floor, you're probably over 20 amot, it's very, you're 30 feet tall in the air, usually that's pasul. But because we go based on your apartment, ground level, so therefore you could light it there obviously. And if you have even a building next to it, that would override anything, Chacham Avadya says. Also the Shevet Alevi, Rav Ozna, they write that the fact that somebody might walk by and see the candle, 
Pirsum and Isa would override everything. That's factor one. Second thing would be beneath ten tefachim. That would override your door. For whatever reason, you can't put it by the door. And when you're doing that, be careful if you have young kids. And it could be a safety hazard, dangerous. So obviously, don't do that. That's not a hidu, that's smart. And the third would be to put it on the opposite side of the mezuzah. So those are the three levels.